when I reviewed that laptop, I said that this thing doesn't work. I kind of reviewed the design and everything. And on here, I talked about this, but I didn't have the charger. Or I, I, tr I thought it didn't work. But actually, I didn't need to get it soldered at all. It actually works because I had the incorrect charger. Found out that I have to use one of the identical ones. So yeah. So I'm finally going to review a fully working... Would you call this fully working? Look, I'll tell you why. Fully working HP Pavilion ZX5000. Now, history on this thing. This laptop was originally sold as ZX5000. It actually came with Intel Radeon Mobility 9200. It says it right there, and I'm not reading it. I'm just trying to remember it from the back of my head. I can't read that from he from where I am. Nah, but I already have it in the back of my head anyway, so. That's Intel Pentium 4 because silver, blue, orange, Intel Pentium 4. It's pretty obvious. And then the Windows XP sticker, uh, medium-sized. And it has a faded warning label. I really like those, <laughs> except not faded. Now, this borrows the clicker buttons from the ZT3000. But besides that, almost everything is different. Um, for example, the scrolling feature. So, as you can see here, or you really can't, these are actually molds. I'm going to put my nail over it, and you can pretty much see what I'm trying to say. It's pretty ergonomic, and it feels good when you're scrolling, and I like that design. Also, this is my favorite arrow key design that HP's put out, and it fits perfectly in anyone's fingers. And they're pretty nice and comfortable. And that goes for a lot of HP's and keyboards in the early 2000s. They feel really good to type or play games. They just feel so good and smooth. Now, one thing to note here, this laptop was sold... Ugh, what the heck happened to the camera? Uh, maybe that should fix it. And it did, for some reason. So, I'm going to turn this thing on and um, get ready to experience some weird sounds. If you could hear that, it sounds like a... Maybe the fan, the cooling fan is worn out. Maybe that's the heat fan or something. I haven't really took a look inside this thing because it's fully working. I don't want to damage it. I'd rather buy a four parts as is one that I know is dead to um, tamper with. And I'll, I'll give a full detailed um, take apart, um, tear down of this thing, but not this one. And this one has a weird sound whenever you turn it on. I, I, I know it has something to do with the fans, but I think that's an easy fix according to some people. And this appeared to be a common problem among these. Doesn't affect the performance or the durability as it works great. For my for my HP laptops from the from the Pioneer, the Pioneer HP laptops are what I call the HP laptops that transitioned from the square screen or somewhat square screen to, well, the white screen format, and this was the second laptop to do so. It had the fractal blue background, which um, was HP's first white screen background, and it's pretty good. It has a nice LCD screen, and it's actually a matte LCD screen in comparison to its, uh, to its revision, which had a sleek, slippery LCD screen as seen in modern laptops. Or, but the, this matte screen style or build is actually very similar and is used by Acer Aspire 5s. Now for these, I have the tendency of always putting the Royale theme because they fit perfect with the era since most of these were sold with Windows Media Center Edition. Now I don't own Media Center Edition yet, but when I do, I will definitely upgrade this or these to... Windows XP Media Center Edition because it just makes the experience a whole lot better and I don't have to keep on relying on VLC Media Player even though it's the best. So, it actually works really good. And, um, now, there's some things here. 
So, that's supposed to have an icon. That's actually a Sonic 3D fan game. I already reviewed that before on a, another computer, uh, which is this one. But here, it's very laggy, and I had a really mess with this thing to try to get it, the app to shut down. But everything else works, like Sonic Robo Blast 2. And as you can see, I'm about to scroll. Yeah. While it may look glitchy and you can't really see it too well because of how Windows XP scrolling works, it actually feels really good and it's really responsive. Yep, there it is. And it actually works great. Now, I use this to play that game instead of these because I don't want sweat wear on them. This one already has a significant uh, sweat wear, if you can see by that reflect thing thing. If I put my hand there, you can't see it. So you can probably see that reflection. That means that sweat wear, or pH wear, whatever you want to call it. But this thing has DirectX and everything. It's 3D graphics and everything. It has ATI Mobility Radio 9200, which means it is, it is pretty good with them. That stuff. And uh, it works great. And for this laptop having similar specs, you would expect it to probably play games, but it, it blue screens every time you try to play a game. But anyway, uh, this thing actually works really good. This thing doesn't blue screen, instead it has a ton of lag, almost unbearable lag. Um, sometimes this game soft locks, so I don't play it. I should put it in my blacklisted folder, which I, I've made on these, but not that. On most of these, they're empty, except, of course, the ZT3000. I can't tell you how horrible that is. Also, here you got to... I'll, I'll show you that later. You know what? I'll show you that later. But I'll show you the CD drive. It's, it has a nice button here. It's on a, like a slant. And since this is a, a carpet, it's not easy to open, but it should open right away. It's pretty fast. I, I, I forget the speed it spins at, but it's good enough to, to watch a video. I could demonstrate that here um, with um, uh, Jurassic Park, but I don't want to get copyright struck by Universal, so I'm not going to do that. Copyright struck, sorry, uh, incorrect grammar. But anyway, this thing does have all the necessities, so it, it's got good stuff. Um, this thing is great for business use and gaming use. Also, for some reason, on the camera, it looks like a CRT sort of screen things, even though this is not CRT. I always make like a sound to test if something's a CRT, just because. And it when it when the screen vibrates along with me doing that, you know it's a CRT. And if it doesn't, you know it's an LCD. So this is an LCD, but on the camera it looks like it's a CRT because of the way uh, the image is working. But, it's LCD. Anyway, it has everything you could really need. HP software update and all that stuff. I don't have Microsoft um, Office installed yet. But I, pr I will. The disk is over there. So, don't worry about it later. Actually, no, I don't want to shut it down. It has great audio because it's made by Harden Carden, which is known nowadays in automobiles to make pretty good car speakers. Especially packaged with Mercedes cars. And I gotta say, it's a pretty nice experience to use this. It feels really nice and smooth. It's very responsive. And although that sound could get annoying, it really doesn't interfere with anything and it works great. If you replace that fan, it will almost likely um, be alright. I haven't done it yet, obviously, and I'm kind of hesitant. The speakers are nice, everything's responsive. Like I said, it's great. It's a great experience. And, um,. There's not much to say about this overall um, thing, but I'm going to take you on the re a tour of the rest of this thing. But I want to compare it to its revision. But more on the history. So this thing was released in 2000, well, 4. Actually 2003. Yeah, it was released in 2003, right after the success of the ZE series. This was meant to be like the replacement of, well, the desktop replacements HP pulled out. And this one still has that really nice feeling keyboard. Oh my gosh, I'm a big fan of this. I really love this keyboard. You should really try it out. But they um, released this 
It was pretty good. Sold a few units. Good enough for a uh, on a on on a soon to be obsolete laptop. Or not soon to be. You know how time flies. But it was great. A lot. Not a lot of people bought this. Instead, they bought this or this. This outsold them by a million. And so and and I guess in this in in every case, quite literally. Well, these didn't sell too well. Um, the DV, DV series became HP's next big step in laptops. Now, this thing actually got its first revision, which fixed that sound from the from the fans, and it was called the HP Pavilion ZV five thousand instead of ZX five thousand. So I guess they thought the X wasn't cool enough and they made it ZV or maybe because they eventually would change ZV to DV. I think maybe that was that's what was going on. So this is actually a pretty neat thing. Now I want to do a few comparisons. On this thing it shows you where that SD combo thing is and it's printed onto the, the plastic design. Here, it's a really super hard, super glued sticker that actually bumps out. And um, that's kind of cheap. Then again, it's before this, so that's how you know. So basically, there's a, a part in HP's history in 2004 to 2005 called the HP Plus or Plus HP line, which introduced the HP iPack, which, um, under this thing, actually, it says IPAC Alliance. So, you know this uh, this thing is meant to be used with your Pocket PC IPAC, which is a pretty neat thing, but I don't own it yet. I really want it, though. I, I, want, I want to do stuff with it. But I think you can see the notable difference here. Look, hello. I don't know if you can see this or not. But I'm actually waving on this screen. That's because this is a, uh, this is not like that. This is a matte screen, which is why you can't see my reflection. And here, take a, take a, if you can hear this. Feels like a little rigid in here. Feels super smooth. So, one thing I want to compare is that this has AMD 64 or AMD Athlon 64. And, um, it's... Obviously, Windows XP, some of these were sold with Media Center Edition, but this was only sold with XP. And it doesn't have the, the warning label, but if you look at it from a certain angle where you can see the light, you can see um, sticker wear of where the ATI sticker used to be. So it was right here, which means that it probably had the warning label, but I guess the previous owner thought it was pretty annoying. And, um... This one has seen a lot of wear. Uh, wear. This one is actually in better shape. There's slight wear on the Harman Kardon thing and over here. But it's just a slight cosmetic thing. Some of these don't even have this this frame here. Because it maybe fell off your table. And you know, you do not want to drop this. But whoever people did that were probably really wanted this to fall off the table. Because when I put this on a very, very flattened wooden surface. I pushed it as much as I could with my sheer muscles. I could not make this fall over. This, the, the rubber feet on this thing are freaking amazing. And um, these share the same keyboard and all, but they did do a few reworks like this. This light illuminates wherever you have caps lock enabled and from number lock too, which is embedded here because there's some number buttons here. But who uses that? Because it's kind of awkward when you're trying to type and use the numbers at the same time. FN uh, number lock or FN number lock using both hands. And then you got to do use the numbers. But then you got to do F. And then you got to do FN number lock again. <sighs> it's just a complicated process. Now, this is the final rework the ZV6000, which was released with the plus HP segment, which meant the 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 blue sonic background which um was actually in the startup screen of this for for some reason before the windows xp welcome screen showed up it actually showed the the blue the actually showed the blue sonic background for some reason but yeah whatever
Now, all the ports work on this, except this USB drive has to do some tampering to get it to work. I'd just call it a dead USB drive. Here's the, um, the SD Super Combo slot, and right below it is the PCMCIA slot. So, yay. And, um, it has the CD drive, just like this, except this one has RW and that white rectangle. So, these are both pretty much the same thing, except this one's in better condition. <laughs> uh, this one also has like a bluish this one has like a very light gray blue sort of look and the old HP blue logo here it has a black HP shiny logo and this is like a shiny gold thing metallic gold and this one fell somewhere in between this had the somewhat blue aesthetic from the middle because this was just reworked as like a desktop replacement but it was discontinued in favor of this and pretty much the DV5000 which replaced this and this so the DV5000 was was base was sold almost as much as the 4000 but everyone else the 4000 is better now this has become pretty lengthy and this is going to be very difficult to upload on YouTube uh, but yeah just a little bit of history there probably really bad at it and yeah I'm pretty cringy when I try to do it Alright, thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, also, that trash can looks gay. I don't know what, what the frick that's doing in my room. I gotta get that out. It looks freaking gay.